Joy to thee, O Queen of Heaven, Alleluia. He whom thou wast meet to bear, Alleluia. As he promised hath arisen, Alleluia. Pour for us to God thy prayer, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. For the Lord is risen indeed, Alleluia. O God, who through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, has brought joy to the whole world, grant that, aided by the prayers of his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord has risen from the dead, as he said. Let us all exult and rejoice, for he reigns for all eternity. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Welcome to Mass here this evening. Every day in Easter week is a feast day. So it's permission for unlimited eating and drinking to your heart's content. And of course, we give thanks to God for the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and for the hope of eternal life with him in the worship of God in heaven. And here and now, we take part in that worship of God in heaven and we call to mind our unworthiness and our sins. You raise the dead to life in the spirit, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. You intercede for us at the Father's right hand, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the Father's right hand, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, you give constant increase to your church by new offspring. Grant that your servants may hold fast in their lives to the sacrament they have received in faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives in God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven and addressed the crowd in a loud voice. Men of Israel, listen to what I am going to say. Jesus the Nazarene was a man commended to you by God by the miracles and portents and signs that God worked through him when he was among you, as you all know. 
this man who was put into your power by the deliberate intention and foreknowledge of God, you took and had crucified by men outside the law. You killed him, but God raised him to life, freeing him from the pangs of Hades, for it is impossible for him to be held in its power, since, as David says of him, I saw the Lord before me always, for with him at my right hand nothing can shake me. So my heart was glad and my tongue cried out with joy. My body too will rest in the hope that you will not abandon my soul to Hades, nor allow your Holy One to experience corruption. You have made known the way of life to me. You will fill me with gladness through your presence. Brothers, no one can deny that the patriarch David himself is dead and buried. His tomb is still with us. But since he was a prophet and knew that God had sworn him an oath to make one of his descendants succeed him on the throne, what he foresaw and spoke about was the resurrection of the Christ. He is the one who was not abandoned to Hades and whose body did not experience corruption. God raised this man Jesus to life and all of us are witnesses to that. Now raised to the heights by God's right hand, he has received from the Father the Holy Spirit, who was promised, and what you see and hear is the outpouring of that Spirit. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Preserve me, Lord, I take refuge in you. Preserve me, Lord, I take refuge in you. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. Preserve, Preserve me, Lord. Lord. I, I take, take refuge in you. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. Preserve, Preserve me, Lord. Lord. I, I take, take refuge in you. In you. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety. For you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved know decay. Preserve, Preserve me, me, Lord. I, I take, take refuge in you. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence. At your right hand, happiness forever. Preserve me, Lord. I, I take, take refuge in you. you. I do not close my heart and my lips that I may worthily proclaim your holy Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. This day was made by the Lord, we rejoice and are glad. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the, the Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Filled with awe and great joy, the women came quickly away from the tomb and ran to tell the disciples. And there, coming to meet them, was Jesus. Greeting he said. And the women came up to him and, falling down before him, clasped his feet. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers that they must leave for Galilee. They will see me there. While they were on their way, some of the guard went off into the city to tell the chief priests all that had happened. These held a meeting with the elders and, after some discussion, handed a considerable sum of money to the soldiers with these instructions. This is what you must say. His disciples came during the night and stole him away while we were asleep. And should the governor come to hear of this, we undertake to put things right with him ourselves and to see that you do not get into trouble. The soldiers took the money and carried out their instructions. 
This is the Gospel of the Lord. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us now pray to our Heavenly Father. First, giving thanks for all those who are joined with us in prayer and Eucharist across the Church, universal. As we all give praise to the Father that he raised Jesus Christ from the dead, that love is vindicated, We give thanks for our membership of the Church through baptism and pray that we may be more faithful to our baptismal vows as we seek to become more like him whom we call our Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, Just pray for the world in which we live. For those places where there is darkness and fear and oppression. For all who seek to manipulate others. We pray for justice and peace, for honesty and integrity. Lord, hear us. We pray for the family of this parish. We give thanks to God for our experience together of the Triduum. And we pray that the Holy Spirit will be an agent of renewal among us and within us. We pray for those on the fringes of our worshipping family. We pray for the sick, for Margaret, Jill, Tony, Anne, Marjorie, David, Jane, Julia, Hannah, Terence and Dorothy. For all who cry out to God in any kind of pain and for all who have no faith or hope to sustain them. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. In years mind, we pray today especially for the repose of the soul of Reginald Charles Needs. We remember those who've died recently, especially those from within our parish family. that we hold before God all whom we love but see no longer. Those who rejoice with us but on another shore and in a greater light. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord. Let light perpetual shine upon them. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. By the mystery of this water and this wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself and shares in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sinfulness. Pray, my friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your peoples, 
that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time... He is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Grace is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice, with praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary the Virgin Mother of God, of John the Evangelist, our patron, of the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. The body of Christ. And the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Christ, having risen from the dead, dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. Let us pray. May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you have set on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Our